الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الناصح الأمين اللهم صل على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تمسك بسنته إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد يا عباد الله There is no such thing as Islamic extremism This is a point that we have to reiterate over and over again so that it is clear beyond the shadow of a doubt قال الفضيلة الشيخ شيخ عبد السلام البرجس رحمه الله تعالى عباد الله لقد نهانا ربنا سبحانه وتعالى عن الغلو في الدين He said that, O slaves of Allah, verily, our Lord, Allah Azza wa Jal, our Lord Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, He has prohibited us from being extreme in the religion. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala has prohibited us from being extreme in the religion. So therefore we see from this standpoint that there is no such thing as Islamic extremism. Because such a phrase, such a term, it gives forth the impression that Islam condones or sanctions extremism. And Islam does not sanction extremism, but rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has prohibited us from extremism. وَحَذَّرْنَا مِنْ ذَلِكَ تَحْذِيرًا شَدِيدًا And Allah Ta'ala, He has warned us from being extreme with a tremendous warning. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّهُ جَلَّ وَعَلَى This is because Allah Jalla وَعَلَى حَدَّ لَنَا حُدُودًا Allah has made for us guidelines. He has set up for us boundaries. وَشَرَعَ لَنَا شَرَائِعٍ and he has legislated for us legislation. وَهُوَ يُحِبُّ مِنَّا And he wants from us and he loves from us that we do not exceed. لَا نَزِيدَ عَلَى هَذِهِ وَلَا نَنْقُصُ مِنْهَا شَيْئًا Allah Ta'ala, he has set up for us boundaries. He has made for us a legislation. And he does not love that we should go beyond that, nor that we come up short as relates to that. وَلِذَلِكَ And for the standpoint, فَإِنَّهُ سُبْحَانُهُ وَتَعَالَى شَرَعَ لَنَا أَن نَقْرَأَ فِي كُلِّ الصَّلَاةِ From that standpoint, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has legislated upon us that we recite in every prayer, in every rak'ah of every prayer, Surah Al-Fatiha. Surah Al-Fatiha. وَفِيهَا هَذِهِ الْآيَاتِ الْعَظِيمَةِ And inside of Surah Al-Fatiha, we have these tremendous verses. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ Unto you alone is it that we worship. And unto you alone do we seek help. إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاقُ الْمُسْتَقِيمُ Guide us to the straight path. صِرَاقُ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ وَيْلِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِينَ Guide us to the straight path. The path of those whom you had bestowed your favor upon. 
not the path of those who your anger is upon them, nor the path of those who have gone astray, or those who are astray. Wa fi hada tanbih lil muslim wa tahdhir lahu. Inside of this, you have a drawing attention to the Muslim, so that his attention is drawn to this particular fact and a warning, warning him. Tabih lahu, a yes look at maslak al maqdub alay, a warning from him, so that he does not take the path of those whom the anger is upon them. Al maqdub alayhim, wa maslak al dhalin. And it is a warning for us that we do not take the path of those who are straight. وَالْمَغْضُوبَ عَلَيْهِمْ هُمُ الَّذِينَ عَرَفُوا الْحَقِّ وَتَرَكُوهُ كَالْيَهُودِ وَنَحْوُهُ أو كَالْيَهُودِ كَالْيَهُودِ وَنَحْوِهِمْ A warning from taking the path of those who the anger is upon them. And they are those who have knowledge. They are those who have knowledge, but they do not act in accordance to what they do. Those who they have knowledge, but they leave off what they know. They leave off what they know, and they act contrary to it. Like the Jews, and those who are similar to them. And those who are astray. They are those who worship Allah, those who are astray. There are those who worship Allah Jalla wa'ala upon ignorance, like the Christians and those who are like them. Ayyuhal Muslimun, O Muslims, لَقَدْ نَهَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ عَنِ الْغُلُوفِ دِينِهِمْ Allah Ta'ala, He has warned the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians from being extreme in their religion. وَقَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ Allah Ta'ala, He says, يَا أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ O people of the book, لا تغلو في دينكم O people of the book, don't be extreme in your religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never legislated extremism. Extremism is not from the deen of Islam. Therefore it is a misnomer, therefore it is a grave and gross error to say Islamic extremism because there is no such thing as Islamic extremism. Allah Ta'ala, he goes on to finish the ayah by saying, وَلَا تَقُولُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْحَقِّ And do not say about Allah except that which is true. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah's Messenger, he warned us from extremism. وَقَدْ جَاءَ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ مُحَذِّرًا مِنْ الْغُلُوبِ فِي الدِّينِ the Prophet ﷺ became warning us from being extreme inside of the religion. The Messenger of Allah, ﷺ, he warned us from having extremism inside of the religion. في أحاديث كثيرة in many of his statements in many أحاديث من أظهرها قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم from the most clear that. It's a statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam كَمَا فِي حَدِيثِ إِبْنَ عَبَّاسِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَلَى عَنْهُمَا إِيَّاكُمْ وَالْغُلُوْ فِي الدِّينِ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said and beware of being extreme in your religion. فَإِنَّمَا أَهْلَكَ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ الْغُلُوْ فِي الدِّينِ Because that which destroyed those who came before you was being extreme in the religion. وَذَكَرَ عَلَيْهِ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامِ عاقبة الغالين في الدين. The Prophet ﷺ he told us the end result of the those who are extreme inside their religion. Just so that there is no doubt, just so that there is no confusion, no misconception that an individual may think, but perhaps there is something from goodness in being extreme in what you do. The Prophet ﷺ he told us the end result of those who are extreme in their religion. The end result of him. Is as the Prophet Sallallahu he said, Halakat, they are destroyed. They are destroyed. Al Mutanaqti'oon. They are destroyed, those who are extreme. Halak al Mutanaqti'oon. They are destroyed, those who are extreme. Halakat al Mutanaqti'oon. They are destroyed, those who are extreme. The Prophet Sallallahu he told us 
that extremism it destroys. As the Prophet ﷺ, he said, إِنَّمَا أَهْلَكَ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلُكُمْ مَنْ كَانَ قَبْلَكُمْ الْغُلُوفِ الدِّينِ Verily that was destroyed those who came before you were being extreme in the religion, was being extreme in the religion. Extremism has never been sanctioned by the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. It is a must that we are upon a middle path. That path that is middle. فَنَحْنُ أُمَّ وَصَطَ We are a middle nation. We're not a nation that's given to extremes. Being middle, being moderate, then this means implementing that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do. And not going beyond the boundaries. And at the same time, it means not neglecting that which Allah Ta'ala had made obligatory upon us. Not neglecting those things in which Allah Ta'ala had put upon us. Because you will find that individuals will run from the extremism of the extremists and then they will go to the other direction. And that is by falling into extreme and gross neglect. To the point where they're only Muslim by name. The deen of Islam is a middle deen, it's a middle course, it's a middle way of life, it's moderation. It's not going to the extremism, the likes of the Khawarij, the likes of ISIS, with yani Daesh, with Shabab al Qaeda, and the like. It is not going to this extreme like the Kilab al Nar. And at the same time, it's not running to the neglect of the like of the modernist. Where they run through such neglect that you may find they don't pray. You may find they don't fast from a bond. You may find that the women don't cover. You may find, you may find, you may find. The deen of Islam is a deen that is in the middle. And moderation means that we are in the middle. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتْ Become upright as you have been commanded. Become upright as you have been Command it. Do not go to the extreme and do, yani, do not go to neglect. This is what it means to be in the middle. We have not been left to our own devices for us to figure it out how it's going to be. We have not been left for us to invent things as we want them to be. But rather we have to abide by that which Allah Ta'ala He has revealed unto us. And this is the only thing that will be accepted. Because in order for the deeds to be accepted, then they have to meet two criteria. They have to fulfill two conditions. The first condition, الإخلاص العمل لله عز وجل. We have to have, to have sin, uh, sincerity unto Allah عز وجل. We have to be sincere unto Allah عز وجل. So that we do our actions for Allah and for Allah عز وجل alone. As Allah Ta'ala, He says, وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ And they had not been commanded except to worship Allah alone, making all of the religions sincerely for Him. Azawajal. The second characteristic and condition is that it must be in compliance to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and mutabah the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We have to come in that which is compliant to the to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If we make up things and invent things that we deem to be okay and so on and so forth, that is contradicting the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it will not be accepted, but rather it will be rejected. As the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, "Man amina amina, leesa alihi amruna wa huwa radun." Whoever does an action that does not have on it our command, it is rejected. فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِنْتْ So establish, be upright upon the religion as you have been commanded. This is what it means to be moderate inside of the religion. This is what it means to be moderate inside of the religion. Whereas going to the extreme, the likes of ISIS, and this is rejected. It's not from the deen. Going to the neglect, to the likes of the modernists, is rejected. It's not from the deen. But rather that which is from the deen of Al-Islam is to be the middle course. Not to extremism, nor to neglect, but to be in the middle course. This is the way of success. This is the way of the deen of Al-Islam. 
This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to do. Not to be upon the way of those whose anger is upon, not to be upon the way of those who have gone astray, but to be in that way, sirat al-mustaqim, that middle path that's right there in the middle. The right way that's right there in the middle. Not extreme and not neglect. There's no such thing as Islamic extremism. Islam is a deen of moderation. هذا أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا فإنه هو الغفور الرحيم بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد يا عباد الله when it comes to being neglectful about one's religious obligations then we know that this is a path that is not praiseworthy and is not for moderation and is that which we have been warned from but we want to look at the extremists we want to place our attention on the other side, the side of the extremists. Qala Shaykh Abdul Salam Burjas Rahimullah Ta'ala wa uhibbu kathiran an yata'amman al-Muslim qisas al-khawarij. He said, I love, I love a lot that the Muslims, they reflect upon the stories of the khawarij. التي جاءت في السنة. The stories of the Khawarij that they come in the Sunnah so that we know the reality of these Khubatha so we know the reality of these filthy and despicable individuals لِيَعْلَمَ يَقِينًا so that they know with certainty أَنَّ مَنْ تَعَبَّدُ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ عَلَى غَيْرِ هَدِي الرَّسُولِ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم فإن فَإِنَّ عَمَلُهُ بَاطِلٍ so that we know with certainty that whoever acts and they seek to worship Allah by other than the guidance of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then his action is erroneous it is false it is باطل فلا يغتر به so that we are not deceived by them ولا ينخضع به and that we are not taken by the likes of these individuals مَهْمَا جَلَبَ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ مِنْ مَظَاهِرَ الدِّينَ تَدَيُّنْ وَالْعِبَادَ That we are not deceived by these people no matter what they may bring, apparently bring from being those who are given to being religious, religiousness nor to what they may seemingly have with them from worship. Don't be deceived by the likes of ISIS. Don't be deceived by the likes of Al-Qaeda. Don't be deceived by the likes of these Khawarij. They are not good Muslims. They are not living according to the Sharia. No matter what comes upon their tongue, no matter what claim they bring, they are not upon the Sharia of Muhammad Wasallam. They're not upon the way of Muhammad Wasallam. They're not religious. They're not good Muslims. Don't be deceived by them. يَقُولُ عَلَيْهُ صَلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ The Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet ﷺ, the Messenger of Allah, the one who came and he taught us Islam, the one who came and he taught us how to be a good Muslim, the one who came and he showed us what was the right way, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What did he say? The Prophet ﷺ, he said, كَمَا فِي حَدِيثِ أَنَسِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعْلَى عَنْهُ الذي أخرجه الإمام أحمد that which has been collected by Imam Ahmed في مسنده inside of his musnad قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the prophet of Islam he said about the likes of ISIS the likes of al-Shabaab the likes of Nusra the likes of al-Qaida if you want to know what is the Islamic stance then we can't tell you better than the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said we can't describe them better than the Prophet Sallallahu had described them. The Prophet Sallallahu he said, say There will come a people. There will come a people. 
يتعبدون ويدينون. There will come a people who they will worship and they will take every, as, as, as religiousness and put forth some seemingly religious, religiousness and the like. Hatta يُعْجِبُ nas Until some of the people they will become amazed. وَتُعْجِبُهُمْ أَنفُسُهُمْ And they will become amazed by themselves. But what did the Prophet ﷺ go on to say about them? The Prophet ﷺ, he said, يَمْرُقُونَ مِنَ الدِّينَ كَمَا يَمْرُقُ السَّهْمُ مِنْ رَمِيَّةِ They will fly out of the religion just like the arrow passes through the target. When, you, when that arrow hits that target at high velocity, it goes straight through it with the quickness. This is a similitude of Daesh. This is a similitude of the Khawarij. They pass out of the deen of Al-Islam with the quickness. With the riwayah al-Ukhra, in the sign of another narration, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Qawmun, they are people, meaning who these Khawarij, Yuhsinul al qeed they are good in their speech, meaning they talk a good game. Wa yusi'oon al fi'l but they are despicable and nasty and repugnant in their actions. They are repugnant in their actions. يَحْقِرُ أَحَدُكُمْ صَلَاتَهُ عِنَّ صَلَاتِهِ وَصِيَامَهُ عِنَّ صِيَامِهِ One of you would deem your prayer as being little compared to their prayer, and their fasting as being little in comparison to their fasting. And this is no praise of them. It is like that due to what? Due to their extremism. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said, وَإِيَّاكُمْ الْغُلُوْ And beware of extremism. So it's not that they were upon something that was praiseworthy. No way. It's not that the Prophet ﷺ was praising them. Only an ignoramus would suggest such. But rather as the reality, the Prophet ﷺ is explaining to us that they are extreme. And then the Prophet ﷺ, he said about them, يَمْرُقُونَ مِنَ الدِّينَ كَمَا يَمْرُقُ السَّهْمُ مِنَ الرَّمِيَّةِ They will fly out of the religion just like the arrow passes through the target. هُمْ شَرُّ الْخَلْقَ هُمْ شَرُّ الْخَلْقَ وَالْخَلِيقَ This is Nabiullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam describing the likes of ISIS, describing the likes of Al-Qaeda, describing the likes of Nusra with Shabab and whoever else comes up upon their way bearing a different name. The Prophet Sallallahu said about these Khawarij, they are the worst of the creation and the worst of creatures. So how can what they be doing possibly be an illustration of the deen of Al-Islam? When the Prophet Sallallahu said they are the worst of creation, the worst of creatures. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, طُوبَى لِمَنْ قَتَلَهُمْ أَوْ قَتَلُوهُ A great success, or the tree in Jannah, the tree in heaven, is for the one who kills the Khawarij. It's for the one who fights against and he kills the Khawarij. Or for the one who was killed while trying to fight against them, or the one who was killed by them. Meaning those who don't join them, those who are not down with them, those who oppose them. A great success is for those who fight and kill them or those who are killed by them. There's no success in joining them. There's no success in being with them. There's no success in being down with them. But the Prophet of Islam told us that the success is for those who fight against them and kill them. يَدْعُونَ يَكِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَلَيْسُوا مِنْهُ they call to the book of Allah. They seemingly call to the book of Allah. But they got nothing to do with it whatsoever. They have nothing to do with it whatsoever. Look to the way of the Khawarij. These same Khawarij who challenged the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So let it be known that the way of the Khawarij was never a way that was sanctioned, was never a way that was tolerated, was never a way that was encouraged. 
These same khawarij, they challenged the Prophet ﷺ. As he said, I'dal ya Muhammad. He said unto the Prophet ﷺ, the forefather of theirs, their salaf, be just, O Muhammad. And there you see the original goal of theirs and the consistent goal of theirs and the present goal of theirs. Be just, O Muhammad. When the Prophet was distributing the, the spoils of war, they wanted some more money. Their concern was money. This is their only concern, as you find it now. Those who revolt against the Muslim rulers, what are they talking about? Oh, jobs, economics, more money, and we feel he has too much, he don't share. The same khawarij, home, home. They said, be just, O Muhammad, to which the Prophet Sallallahu he said, وَإِلَهْكْ بَوَنْ to you, مَنْ يَعْدِلْ إِذَا لَمْ أَعْدِلْ Who's going to be just if I'm not just? Scolding them. These same khawarij are the same ones who are camped around the house of Uthman, رضي الله تعالى عنه, and they assassinated him, they killed him because they said he was an apostate. These same khawarij, the forefathers of ISIS, they are those who killed Uthman, رضي الله تعالى عنه, and they claim that he was a kafir. The forefathers of ISIS, they are the ones who killed Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنه, and they said he was a kafir. And what was their claim unto Ali? In the hukma illa lillah, that verily the rule it only belongs to Allah. They claim that Ali was a kafir because he didn't rule by the book of Allah. But as we know, Ali ruled by the book of Allah. These despicable individuals, they were the ones who were contrary to the book of Allah. But there again, you find their goal, their purpose. As they come and they say, but the rulers of the Muslims, and they are kuffar, they are apostates, because they don't rule by the book of Allah. The same claim that they lost against Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنه. لماذا? لأنهم هم. Because they are them. That's who they are. They have not changed. The forefathers of ISIS were on the same thing that ISIS is upon, the same filth, the same extremism. That extremism that led them to kill Uthman, to kill Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنهما, to fight against the Sahaba and kill many of them, رضي الله تعالى عنه. How can it possibly be that these individuals are legitimate examples and illustrations of the deen of Al-Islam when they fought against the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When they assassinated the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They assassinated the son-in-laws of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How can theirs be a legitimate illustration of the deen of Al-Islam? Home, home. Kilabu nar as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described the khawarij, the dogs of the hellfire. Ali رضي الله تعالى عنه He mentioned so that we are not deceived by what they seemingly put forward from religiousness. Allah تعالى He says وَجُوهُوِمْ يَوْمَ إِذٍ خَاشِعَةٍ And there will be some faces on that day that they're going to be scared. وَجُوهُوِمْ يَوْمَ إِذٍ خَاشِعَةٍ Some faces on that day they're going to be scared. عَامِلَةٌ نَّا these ones used to work hard in the dunya. They used to labor in the dunya a lot, do a lot of falseness in the dunya. So they come worn down raggedy. The Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us the end result of these individuals. Allah ta'ala says, Tawsla narun haniyah. They will go to the blazing fire. They will go to the blazing fire. Wa Ali رضي الله تعالى عنه تأولها في الخوارج. Ali رضي الله تعالى عنه. We said that these verses, then they are applicably applied to the خوارج. The خوارج into into this. Those who they toil a lot, they work hard, but it's all for naught. Their faces, they will come with faces scared on that day. 
humiliated and scared upon that day. Why? Because they did not work in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu So therefore, what they are upon will be rejected. It will not be accepted. And the end result will be the hellfire. As Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He tells us in another ayah, وَمَنْ يُشَاكِقِ الرَّسُولَ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيْنَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّنِي مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُصْلِيهِ جَهَنَّمْ وَسَاءَتْ مَصِيرًا Allah Ta'ala says what means and those who contradict the way of the messenger those who contradict the way of the messenger and then follow a way other than the way of their believers we will lead them to that which they left themselves to and enter him into the hell fire and what an evil of worse and what an evil and most worse of final destinations this is the reward of those who contradict the sunnah of the prophet وسلم. this is the reward of those who go against the way of the sahaba when we look at the khawarij the likes of isis they contradict the Prophet They go against the way of the Sahaba. Hey, Nam. What is the biggest proof and evidence that they go against the way of the Sahaba? Is that they fought against the Sahaba. They killed the Sahaba. They assassinated the Sahaba. They are not upon the way of the Sahaba. So Allah Ta'ala has a promise for them. Nawalihima tawalla. We'll leave him to what he left himself to. And enter him into the hellfire. And what are worse the final destinations? They will enter into the blazing fire. They will enter into the blazing fire. This is the true stance when it comes to the likes of the extremists. This is the true stance. This is the teachings of Islam as it comes to the likes of the extremists. No one sees in therein any which way, shape, or form or room. So that it will be understood that Islam sanctions extremism. But rather, but rather, Islam shows us that extremism is not from it. Rather, Islam shows us that extremism will have its end inside of the fire where the deen of Al Islam has come to mankind so as to guide them to the Jannah. The deen of Al Islam, when one applies and believes in it in the light, it will guide them to the Jannah, take them to the Jannah. Whereas the way of the extremists, it goes in the totally polar opposite direction. It goes in the way of the hellfire. So how in the world could they say that these two things are related when they're further from each other than the east and the west, further from each other than the north and the south? There's no such thing as Islamic extremism because Islam is a deen of moderation and extremism is not from Islam. Faqimu salam.